Finally here at seven, some people collect refrigerator magnets, some dolls, others stamps. But this week in Check It Out with Chelsea, Newswatch 16's Chelsea Strube takes a look at a collection that needs more than just a bookshelf. Hey guys, on a rainy day over the summer, I asked people on Facebook what they were up to and how they occupied their time since they couldn't go outside. Well, Stephen Kane of Dunmore sent me a video of his attic arcade and I said, we need to check this out. You might have thought it was game over for many of the items you're about to see, but Stephen Kane is keeping them in a safe place in his attic in Dunmore. You're going to see a lot of stuff on the walls. Everything on these walls is a favorite of mine and throughout my uh, entire life, like football, games, everything. With games being where this all began about a year ago. It started small and it kind of just kept growing and growing and growing and growing. Into Steve's arcade, featuring games big and small. Old. Boom, nostalgia overload. I played this game at the Price Chopper on Luzerne Street in West Granton, which isn't there anymore. It's like a price right now. When I assembled this and played like a couple matches, I could actually like taste and smell the bakery in my, like just from years ago. It was incredible. And new, filled with adventure. This is digital pinball. Steve tells Newswatch 16 you don't need any quarters to play any of the games in his arcade, but sometimes he wishes that was different. I kind of wish they would make that just for the novelty, but you could do that. You could mod them and change them. Steven is fond of his collection. Oh, sorry. No problem. I don't want to break anything. Nah, nothing. The good and even the bad and ugly. Yeah, so E.T. by a lot of critics, um, was the worst game ever made by some critics. Um, they actually have stories of filling up ditches with ET games because they had too many. But his favorite thing here couldn't be found on eBay. Is uh, this picture. Um, it's a picture that I do with my family and everybody got to do it. And the only rule is it had to be a video game character. And even though this museum he has created in his addict might come with a hefty price tag in reality. The cost weighs on me if I'm up here too much. I need to keep my nostalgia fresh. So Saturday and some Sundays are football now, so I'm not up here on Sundays. But Saturdays mainly is my day up here because um, I don't want to think about how much money I put into it, quite honestly. <laughs> He'd rather think of it as priceless. Chelsea Strube, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County.